On today's episode of James on IT, we're going to talk about Winget, the Windows Package Manager. Let's get started. So if you've never heard of Winget before, Winget is a package manager for Windows. What's a package manager? Uh, simply put, it's an easy way to install applications on your computer. Now, you're probably used to using package managers. For example, like on your phone, you may have the Google Play app or the Apple App Store, or even on Windows, you have the Microsoft Store on Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines. That's kind of a package manager. It's just an interface that allows you to go through and search and you can see what programs that are available that you can then select to either purchase or install if it's free on your system. Now, Winget is a command line interface, not for the Windows Store. However, it can use Windows Store stuff, but it's its own entity. So with Winget, it allows you to install pretty much a, a lot, just about anything from like a chocolatey or other repositories, including its own Winget repositories, quickly and easily. So let's walk through some Winget examples together so you can get to know Winget and see what it's capable of. So here we open up our PowerShell command so we can start working with winget. Now, the first command we're going to look at is winget and list. What this does is it gives you a list of all applications that you have installed that winget uses. So for example, we've got, you know, Microsoft Photos, uh, Visual C++. A lot of this stuff Microsoft installs for you when you install Windows. And the nice part about it is open source applications that we've installed, such as our Go programming interface, WireGuard I've got on here, as well as many others you can install. Now you see this, now this is one thing that's different. This Power Toys, I wanna to point this out. This is the store ID for Power Toys. So here, again, Winget is showing us how this is installed via MS Store, and this is the store ID for this application. This is the nice, powerful aspect of Winget, because not only can it list the applications you have installed through it, but because it interfaces with the Microsoft Store, it can show you the applications you have installed that you did through the store as well. And then we see, for example, like in our previous video, where we installed Oh My Posh, Here's all my posh, and we have Winget. Now, one thing we have that I find interesting here that I want to point out is we have a lot of applications that need updates. We see 081, well, it's now to 84. 23.6 is now 23.12, and so on and so forth. Well, how do we update it? Well, if you're used to Linux package managers, this works very similarly. We can use Winget upgrade when we run this, it goes through our packages and shows, okay, here's everything that we can upgrade. Now, with this, we can kick off an upgrade by just saying win get upgrade all. So with the dash dash all, that allows us to say, okay, every application that we have it's going to upgrade that has an upgrade available, including our Microsoft Store app, which is the Power Toys. So we're gonna let this run through here real quick. And once this gets done, because hey, installing applications is nothing really new to any of us, we'll fast forward through this and we'll cut to the end. So as you can see, everything updated successfully, no problems. Now. Some things need to be restarted to complete the upgrade, but you know, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and clear our screen. Now we went over how to list the programs we have installed and how to upgrade them. One thing that I like to do too is show you how to find programs. Like for example, let's say we want to install something like, how about the GitHub CLI as an example? Well, one thing we can do is we could type in winget search and then type 
GitHub. Now when we do this, it pops out with everything that has to do with GitHub as a keyword. And it's looking for like the meta tags here that have GitHub, as well as the name of things. So here's our GitHub CLI. So to install the GitHub CLI, all we need to do is we'll clear our screen and we'll type win git install github and you notice how it had that dot cli we do this now what it's going to do is it goes out grabs that repository pulls it down and installs it for you and poof we're already done it's that fast and easy so now we know how to list programs, install programs, and update all programs on, on our machine. What else can we do with WinGit? Well, we can also remove programs. So for example, like that GitHub CLI that we just installed, we can actually remove it and uninstall it if we wanted to. Here, what we do is we type WinGit, and this time we use uninstall and then GitHub CLI. Now when we run this, it will then remove the GitHub CLI from our packages. So if we do our win git list here, we're going to see that GitHub CLI has been removed and no longer part of our system. Whereas if we install it here again real quick, reinstall it, and then type in our when get list we see that we have our github cli installed right here and we can search for things too when get list github and here we have our github cli shown and installed Thank you. now the question is why did Microsoft create WinGit? Well, WinGit makes it easy for you to automatically install programs, especially if you want to do it at scale. Think of it this way. You can pipe these into a installation script real easily to install whatever apps that you want. You can make it part of the setup process for workstations. If you have a couple hundred computers to set up, the last thing you want to do is go through and install each program individually. Well, by using WinGit, you can automate the whole experience and just get those machines done. You can also remove programs. So let's say you want to deploy a program to 2000 workstations. Again, you can do this through a script now or removing those programs. You can automate that as well through a script. So WinGit allows you to do things that you can easily script and automate for various application installations, updates, and removals, uninstalls, without having to touch each machine individually. That's the power of WinGit. So I hope you liked today's episode. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon, and we'll see you in the next one.